Hi everyone, it's Linda from Linda's Crafting Corner. Well, this is my first video, so kind of nervous, but we're going to make a ribbon tutu. I have three of them I need to make this weekend, and I thought this is the perfect time. I make how tutus, and so I have two of them. One of them is for a first birthday, one's for a second birthday, and they're for sisters. And I will show you how I cut them. Here we go. I have to move you around. Um, I have a chart. Let me try to set this up. I have a chart over there on the wall. I don't know if you can see it or not. But, let me angle you down a little bit. I was very lucky to buy some of these 10 yard rope pieces. It's bolt pull, but it's in 10 yard increments, which is what I use. And for a first birthday for one year old, I cut my tool 11 inches. For my second birthday, I cut them 13 inches. If you can zoom in on that chart, I'll show it to you in a moment. So let me put on my cheater glasses. I don't like the way this looks, so we're just gonna go ahead and trim it. And it doesn't have to be real precise. Let's trim this end off here. Let's make it even. It doesn't always cut, but it's okay. So we're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. Now I want it 11 inches, so that's on 31, so we're going to move it down to 20. I can push down real hard so it will work. All right, that's for my 11 inch. It's 10 yards. A little less. I cut a little bit off. Now I need one that's 13 inches. So, 23, down to 10. I usually go a little bit bigger. lines here should be able to get her lined up almost almost so go to our crafty crafty scissors and just cut it there we go there's our two two twos that one looks a little too long Let's see what I did ten I did make it a little bit too long of course, I'm going to do it on this straight edge here. I'm going to do a half an inch off. Ooh, that looks good. There we go. Trash, trash, trash. Now we have our two pieces. Right there. 11 and 13. And I think we're ready to sew. Okay, I turned my phone around. I believe that'll work better. I'm learning, I told you. See, I can't even see right. You're over there. You're over there. Now I know. I had to put some of my ribbon together, so... I need to fix this. Get a nice piece to start with. Alrighty. It's fixing to storm here. We have been getting rain almost every day. We needed it so bad. I have to take my shoes off to use my machine. Too much information, right? Too much, too much. Now what I do is I take my tool and I put it in half. And this is two pieces of tool. And you want to leave about an inch gap when you fold it. 
you're going to make your elastic. Well, let me see. Right. Try to get that three quarter, a little more, usually a one inch. Make this about 2.5. And then you're going to follow your tool all the way down and just make that elastic channel. I'll show you a little bit here and then I'll show you the next step. Try to keep that one inch at the bottom, one inch at the top. Loosen that a little bit. I've been working on quilts, so I do mess with my numbers on my machine a lot. I'll be back whenever I'll be back whenever I get it to the okay now we have reached the end I'm going to continue and finish it off oh my foot was heavy now what I do is I just gather it from the machine and I'm going backwards because the bottom layer I'm going to do first. On the bottom layer I'm going to put a bubblegum pink. Now on this, on, when you do the ribbon, I make sure this channel is up, this is down. Put that down. I go up to a little over three on my stitch length. This I had two five yard rolls and I put them together sewed them together and I want to do let's see if I can show you where you have what is that half an inch to three quarter but I, I want to sew on the closer to the like quarter inch from the top of my ribbon so we're going to start the attachment right there my back stitch and keep it about the same length, that three quarters of an inch. And then move it up to where it's half a quarter of an inch, just a quarter inch. Mine's moving a little bit, but it tool is very forgiving, so do not worry. So we're gonna sew this ribbon all the way down to the end. So you don't have to listen to all the noise. I will turn it off and show you what it looks like whenever I get there. And I tug it to keep it calm. Okay, see you in a minute. Still sewing. All right, now we're reaching the end, and I'll show you what we do then. Oh, I took my table off. I forgot to put it back on, and that's okay. I used to sew without it when I sew regular stuff, so. This old table, it doesn't fit exactly right on it, but. Let's see. And every, if ever anything comes up and it doesn't look perfect, 
go with it. Just keep trying because it. I'm sure I'm going to show you it. It will be just fine. Cool is very forgiving. And I have just another ribbon. I'm going to cut that off. Complete this. Go on. What I do, I'm going to show you the easy way what I do, is I just go ahead and grab it off the machine like this, and I pull it backwards. And we want to pull it all the way to the beginning. Here we are. You're looking at the back side, see? And you see the short side on the other side? So we want to drop this. We're going to sew on the same side. And you want to unfold it. You're looking at the pretty side here. Back side here, your channel's on the underside. Set it down there. Get my new roll of ribbon out. I love new ribbon. Oh, there's my lighter. All right. Put it underneath your tool. And we're just going to do the same thing as we did to the other side. Very simple. Simple, simple, simple application. I do have a shop that I do these in. It's on Etsy. But I would love to see you guys do it. <laughs> Let me get me some ribbon off this roll. Get to watch me. I'm going to put this on here because I've cut myself before on those little plastic gifts. Let's do this. We're going to need 10 yards worth. Now, let's get sewing. Same application, same way. Oops, 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 oops. See there? It doesn't have both sides on it. Let me start up with my thread. Because I need that to be even. Mm -hmm. Alright. Because I can cut that little end off. It's okay. But I need it to be both together. It was separated. No separations. No separations allowed. No ribbon needs to go further in. Back stitch. And here we go. Because we you can always just cut it off at the end. To make it even. I'll sew a little bit and then I'm gonna cut the video and I'll bring you back at the end of the application. The important thing is, if you want to do this, just try it. It's really fun. Cut this and I'll okay, we're getting closer to the end. Bring you back. So far, all we've done, cut 10 yards of tool. We've made our channel, our elastic channel. We sewed this one front side. Now we're sewing this back side of ribbon, which is the top ribbon. About through. I 
to cut it past the tool. I always like my ribbon a little longer than my tool. And it usually comes out just about perfect. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to hit this with the line Don't get your tool because it'll burn it up. Snap a little line. Okay. Now we just. It's going to have to be flipped over to so see. Isn't that pretty? Now we'll just. I like to pull it back and shake it in the form that it needs to be in. This. The farm life cows and stuff that's been the most popular this the last year or so and this is your tutu i'll be back i'm going to get our elastic and see get our elastic and our elastic pullers and we'll be right back hi everybody i'm back we're ready to add whoops add our elastic now this one's a two-year-old I cut my elastic, I believe I cut 18 inches. Now, I have these little elastic pullers. I got these at Joann's. Probably get them on Amazon or anywhere, but they're the best. The best, easiest way to pull your elastic through to me. You go into your channel. I'm going to cut this little thread off. See this one? Make sure that, so you have double sides on each side, make sure that you get into the middle of that. I have fumble fingers sometimes. That's what age does to you. So, we're just going to be pulling it on here. It's gotten a little darker outside. Little rainstorms are coming through. Which, praise God, we needed it so bad. Like I say, it's been raining the last almost two weeks now, I guess. Seven to ten days, maybe a I don't know. Time goes so fast when you, you know, when you're semi-retired. I still work, but I work from home. So it's not the same as working out when you go to a real job where you have to leave the house every day and time just flies and the older you get the faster it goes I may have gotten this channel just a little bit tight that just makes it a little bit tougher but it's okay it works now just fold the end over just a little bit and put your other one down and tack it down so it doesn't come loose that's the one thing you don't want it to happen because then you have to do it all over again I don't mind doing them the first time but I don't want to redo let's see here Much better, much better. It's working the way it's supposed to. Then I just start working it, and I do lick my fingers. I'm sorry. Um, just work it down so it'll be more even because you're going to have to do that anyway. You see? Such a pretty tutu. Cute, cute, cute. I was looking at these crafting gloves. Um, they're basically made for quilts. They have rubber tips on them to help you push stuff through. I'm going to go ahead and order me some of those, and I'm thinking of trying it on this. 
I don't know if it'll work. Probably be a better wintertime job. Mm -hmm. Cause this is normally pretty fast. I know that not many people will see this video, so I'm glad I get the chance to practice. But I'm looking forward to building a channel. I'd like to show y'all how I do my stuff and work alongs with me. I'd like to make a, it'll be something for my granddaughter. She's going to be three on September 22nd. Yes. She lives in Minnesota. I live in Texas. So we're 1,500 miles apart. But we sure do enjoy Snapchat. She loves the faces. I know I'm not the first Mimi that says this, but she's the most beautiful thing in the world to me. The next tutu I'll be making, it's going to be, it's a solid uh, color on the tool, but I've sewn together and made multicolor ribbon on the bottom, and then I'm going to add glitter to it. I have an order for that, so I'm going to make a video on that one. I think I'll also make a separate video. I'm going to make the bow that goes on the waistband and how I do that, and the hair bow. So you can see how to do that too. And I don't know if you can buy them anymore, but I use, um, what was it called? Alligator, a gator bite. Is how I use that tool to make my hair bows with. Ten yards is a lot of tool. But they're so full and fluffy. There we go. Up to the end. And this is what we have. Okay. And I like to turn it where the right side, pretty side is facing me. And then I'm going to put this together. Because you sew the elastic together. I'm going to move the camera over here back to the machine. Let me just move you over here. Sorry about that. Move this closer. Tilt it down. There we go. And so this, you can see these are the inside. I'm looking at the ugly side now. But you overlap it. Can you see that? I'm going to overlap it, and I'm going to sew it right here, and sew it right here. And I go back and forth a few times because you do not want that coming out, especially if the little girl is twirling around at her birthday party. Mm -mm. I have to take my shoes off. I had knee replacement surgery 10, 11 weeks ago. One, I think it's 11 weeks ago now. And I have to, it's hard for me to maneuver still. But you go back and forth. One, four, three. Four. That should be good. And 
it there and then come down here, line it up. One, two, three, four. Oh, let me go ahead and go back. There we go. Then that's good and tight there. That little thread. And then your ends, I sew mine together. Some people glue them together, but I always sew them because I'm here at the machine anyway. Put your cow ribbon together. Make sure they're even. Overlap. Overlap like this. And line up the other one. If you need to pin it or clip it, you can. Yep. And we're going to start out. I like to enforce my stitch. I'll go ahead and back up. There we go. And then all you do is you pull your tool, pull it over that where you joined them together. Now, there we are. Now, let me see. So, you're going to have to play with it, but you try, you get your tool even all the way around. Nothing will be perfect, but get it to the best you can. Anyway, you're going to play with that all the way around. And this will be your result right here. Let me set this down. See how full it is? It's real full. Pretty, 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 pretty. And the next video, I'll show you how I make my bows and I attach those. And then I also will make a hair bow. Well, that's the first video, so let's see what happens. <laughs> I need to cut that out, don't I? Yeah. Anyway, 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 that was the first video, and I'll see you on the next one. We'll be making hair bows. Bye. See you later.